Hey guys, Whitney here. Welcome to the Passive Investing Made Simple Masterclass. As you already know, my, my name is Whitney Elkins Hutton. I'm your host here. I'm also the Director of Investor Education here at PassiveInvesting.com. And I am really excited to cover to today's topic. We are, you know, it's the you know, start of the new year, and we are going to talk about how to level up your life in three simple steps. Okay, this is, is kind of like a follow along to our boot camp that we had back in December uh, around goal setting. Like, how can you determine uh, what your investing goals should be? What are those numbers that go into your investing goals um, that help you understand where you are at on your wealth building journey? If you haven't already seen that boot camp, make sure to go back to our YouTube page and find that 2024 goal setting boot camp. Again, this is an extension. If you haven't seen the boot camp, don't worry about it. Stay tuned. We are going to go through some important information here today, give you some nice tools to follow. But if this is your first time joining us, again, welcome. We do this passive investing made simple masterclass live every Tuesday at 1 p.m. Mountain Time. So you can gain more confidence about what it means to passively invest, how to set up your goals, understand your risk, your timeline, and more importantly, just those, those skills and tactics that you need to understand in order to go into your first or next investment with confidence. If you haven't already done so, if you're watching your favorite, um, you know, or listening to your favorite podcast player of choice or watching on YouTube, make sure to join us at PassiveInvestingWithWhitney.com to get access to future masterclass and boot camp sessions. Uh, get access to my calendar. If you would like to talk all things passive real estate, how can we help you here meet your passive investing goals and also see our open deals? All right, let's dive into today's topic. Again, we're going to talk about how to level up your life in three simple steps. Now, a lot of people are here are like, you know, okay, first of all, Whitney, like, how does this, how does this connect to passive investing? And like, why are, why are you so passionate about talking about these sort of things like goal setting? Well, for me, it, it's a process. These are processes that I've learned along my investing journey that are simple, I'm not saying easy, but simple to execute. They're repeatable. And if you repeat them time and time again, quarter after quarter, year after year, you will see results. You can't help but level up your life. And I started this journey back in 2002, completely by accident, living, flipping and house hacking, and eventually scaled up a portfolio. Well, actually, I should say with the living, flipping and house hacking, my husband and I, you know, he eventually joined me. Um, in that process, we did really well at building up buckets of equity, very poor at building up buckets of cash flow, which is what you need to unlock those golden handcuffs from your W-2 job. And it's when we transition into buy and hold real estate and then eventually into larger multifamily proje projects and passive investing projects, that's really where we blew the doors off our portfolio. And I'm so passionate in helping you as the investor understand all the different, you know, um, ins and outs of passive real estate, but also the mechanics on how you can create a repeatable process for yourself and achieve similar results. So fast forward today, my husband and I, we have over 6,500 residential units in our portfolio, 2,200 self-storage units, a myriad of other investments. But really, again, what you're here for, what I'm here for really is 100% control and freedom on how we spend our time. And for me, Having that control and freedom allows me to be here with you and create an impact, not only in my world, but your world too. And we can help you do that here at PassiveInvesting.com. Uh, we've closed now at the end of 2024, over $250 million lent through our rehab wallet lending platform. We have over 1.4 billion assets under management, have exited eight deals and taken them full cycle with strong returns to our investors. And they've made over 51 million investor distributions. Now we're talking about how to level up your life today in three simple steps. I don't imagine that we're going to get into a lot of financial advice, legal advice, tax advice, but if there's anything in here that could be just construed as uh, you know, financial, legal, or tax advice, make sure to take it back to your team, your investing team before making any sort of investment decision. All right. So what does it mean to level up your life? Okay. Well, 
Level up is actually a verb. And according to the Cambridge definition, it actually means to improve or increase or to make to take something and improve or increase it, all right? Now, I take a little spin on this, okay? It's not just about like increasing over time, but how can you live your best life no matter where you are at in your journey, in your investing journey, okay? So, um, you know, just simple, repeatable, incremental steps, you can't help but make a massive, massive improvement in your life, okay? Why is this so important? Because if we think of our investing journey as just simply to get more money, okay, I mean, that's where a lot of people like, you know, they, they, they understand money can't buy happiness, right? It's not getting more money. It's not accumulating more net worth. That's great, but that's not the end. The end is how you use it, okay? That money is a tool to achieve what you want in life, all right? And if you're just thinking about like, how can I get more cash flow? How can I get build more net worth? And you're not thinking about how you're going to use the money and to help you meet your life's goals, to improve your life. Um, you know, that's, that's what happens. People who lack a plan to use this tool wisely, they make it so complicated living their life now. Maybe they, 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 again, they, they live in deferral mode. You know, I'll, I'll, I'll take that big massive trip when I have X amount of dollars or they just lose out on the happiness. They lose out on being able to actually uh, be good stewards of that cash flow that they're creating out of that net wealth, that, net wealth that they're generating. Okay. But I don't want that happen to you. All right. You know, most of the people that are here that listen in, that tune into our channel, you know, they're you know very savvy investors. And I want you to be one of those savvy, savvy investors. Now, this is work. This three-step process is something that I learned from J uh, Jesse Itzler. And so if you haven't met him, I would, you know, do a quick Google of Jesse Itzler. He is an amazing figure out there. Um, I know him. I stumbled across his work because his wife actually created Sphinx. Um, so I connect with that. I'm a woman. Um, but anyways, uh, he himself in his own right is an amazing, amazing entrepreneur and business owner. And this is his three, you know, process. When you sit down, if you watch any YouTube by him, you're just, he gets asked the question all the time. Like, how did you do this? How did you scale up your life? And he was like, I have a three-step process and I just do it over and over and over again. And I can't, I can't help but continually to move that needle forward. Okay, the first part of it, the, the process here, and I, I take some liberty with this, but is creating every single year, uh, defining what is that life-changing event that you're gonna go for that year. And this is, he calls it the Misogi. And Misogi is actually a, comes from the Japanese culture. Um, it is a actually a Japanese Shinto ritual, okay? And maybe some of you have watched Limitless with Chris Hemsworth that Nat Geo, um, uh, you know, series that came out last year, they show the Japanese Shinto ritual, okay, this misogi, and it involves, involves standing under an extremely cold waterfall, bone chilling cold waterfall, okay, and repeating a traditional chant. And what the purpose of this is that it's a cleansing, it's a rebirth, okay? Now, standing under this waterfall, okay, there there's a high chance of failure here, okay? But there's a really low chance of death, right? You can actually step out of the waterfall, all right? And by standing under that waterfall in that ritual, you're not gonna kill anybody else. So you're not really putting yourself terribly at risk. You're not putting anybody else at risk, okay? But you're actually choosing to embrace a life-defining moment um, that, you know, that there's a high probability that you could fail, okay? Now, it's not... It's not without repercussion, but it's not a high consequence event. Okay. What does this look like? Okay. Maybe you're not going to go, you know, um, you know, engage in uh, uh, the Shinto ritual. However, what would this translate into, you know, leveling up your life? Well, how, what is your, what is your life defining event um, for the next year? Are you going to go on a big trip? Maybe like a safari? Um, maybe you're going to, you've always dreamed of writing a book and you're going to try to pursue that dream. You're going to do what you need to do, the mechanics that you need to do in order to write that book. Or maybe you simply want to launch your investing career. Okay. Something that could magically change your life. All right. Now, if you're here, you're listening live. I want you to go over 
to the chat box. And I want you to work this process with me. Write down what your Misogi is for 2024. What is that life-changing event? Okay, that that's something that you could do that would just like blow the doors off the year for you. Um, you know, maybe you want to speak on stage at a conference. Okay, you don't have to know the hows on how to get this done. It's just something that's uh, you're drawing a line in the sand. You're just like, I'm going to try this. And if I don't succeed, hey man, I mean massive steps. Okay. And, and you know, it's not like jumping out of an air, uh, airplane without a parachute, right? But it's not going to kill you. It's not going to kill anybody else. But it's something that you're going to stick in the sand, a line in the sand that you are going to do. All right. After you have defined your Misogi, okay, now these three steps aren't entirely connected, okay, but they do kind of feed off of each other. And um, the second part of the process is to actually sit down and think about six mini adventures that you can have for yourself, okay? It can be for yourself, it can be with your family, it can be with other, you know, friends and family and loved ones. But think of these events, these events are achievable, okay? Your Misogi, there's 50% chance that you might fail, right? My Misogi last year was uh, running 17 miles over a 13,000 foot mountain pass, okay? There was a high probability that I, either the weather was gonna get me, or I was not gonna um, be healthy enough to like actually run over it or that I actually wouldn't be able to run at all. That I would have to like, you know, power hike it, okay? There was a lot of pot potential for failure, okay? Um, but it wasn't gonna kill me, all right? These little mini adventures, these things are actually achievable, okay? You know, maybe you're stepping outside of your comfort zone. These things are, are something that you wouldn't normally do. But these adventures are things that you can do for yourself. You can connect with yourself. You can connect with family. You can connect with other friends. Now, examples of these might be, um, what are six type of day trips or experiences that you can have? Um, maybe you take a class, um, like a cooking class or a pottery class. Um, one of my most recent mini adventures was with my daughter and we took a pottery class um, in the middle of Sedona, Arizona. It was amazing. I would never do that. Uh, right now we're taking a survival skills class. These are things that we wouldn't normally do. Or maybe, and maybe they can be like a short adventure, like a weekend adventure or a week long adventure. Okay, maybe you're doing skiing or camping or, or something like that. Go to the chat box. I want you to write down your adventures that you are contemplating. What are maybe two of those six mini adventures that you can pepper in? Now, if you think about it, there's 12 months in the year. So that means you're doing a mini adventure every two months, okay? Your Misogi you're working on throughout the entire year. These mini adventures are things that are achievable, okay, that you can do. You're staying connected to yourself, your family, and your friends throughout the year, all right? Third part of the process is establish four life-giving habits, okay? This is establishing one habit a quarter, okay? It's the new year. How many of you are sitting here listing out in your head all the things that you need to change and, and, and take on for yourself? Maybe you have a laundry list of like 10 or 15 things. You're just like, man, I need to tackle these in order to prove my life. I'm gonna new leaf, new year, right? Um, in this particular process, we're only tackling one thing a quarter. Now it might mean, it might feel like very slow, um, but this is sustainable, okay? These habits must be positive, life-changing, okay? Either through for yourself or for your work, they have to be maintainable. And this is, I also think that they must be stackable, all right? That you, uh, if you are committed to eating, um, you know, uh, maybe drinking a, a glass of water when you first get up in the morning, um, 16 ounces of water every single day to start your day. Fantastic. Can you add now in a green drink, right? How can you like layer on these habits? Okay. To where they become very maintainable. Examples of this could be, maybe you're focused on your health. Maybe you need to, you know, focus on your sleep, your strength, your mobility, your diet, your food that you're eating. Maybe it's your spirituality, okay? Your connection with yourself. Maybe you want to add in a gratitude practice. Um, maybe there's something that you need to add in with your relationships, okay? Um, you know, maybe it's adding, if you have kids, a family board meeting every quarter. Maybe it's your finances. Maybe you need to level up um, and add in some amazing habits around your horizontal or your vertical income, your, your finances. 
want you to go to the chat box and I want you to type in one habit. If you could focus on building one habit for the next three months, that would be life-giving for you, positive, life-changing, maintainable, and you have the ability to stack on top of that. What would that habit be? All right. For me, I'm focused on strength training. Okay. Um, for the next quarter. Let's see. Ooh, work out five days a week. Amazing. Awesome. I, I applaud you there. I'm right there with you. Yeah. You know, and it's when we write these things down, that is the power. Okay. Don't keep these things in your head. Write it down. Write down your Misogi. Write down those six adventures. Okay. Plan them out on a calendar and write down those habits you're going to commit to. All right. Here's the thing. I want to bring this all together and tie it together. There is power in these numbers. Okay. Some people might be sitting here thinking, wow, Whitney, I'm doing, focusing on one large thing. Okay. There's like 10 in my life that I need to focus on, but I, you're asking me to focus on just one big Misogi and take six mini adventures and then only one habit a quarter. Well, just think if you start this process, very focused simple process at age 40 and you live to age 80, that means you'll have 40 life divining events in those 40 years, 240 mini adventures that connect with yourself, your family and friends. Okay. That you've been extremely intentional about, and you have established 160 positive life-changing habits, right? How powerful that those are amazing numbers. You can't help but win life big, right? If you focus on that. Now imagine if you taught this to your kids when they were 10, 15, 20, all right? Maybe some other young person in your life. Maybe you don't have kids. Imagine what would happen if you started this process so much earlier in life. All right, guys, I invite you to go back through this webinar, work it. What is your Misogi? What is that one life to defining event, okay, that you are going to focus on for the year. What are those six mini adventures that you're going to focus on, sprinkle them throughout the year? Okay. Of course, you're probably going to travel more. You're going to do more things beyond those just six adventures, but these are the ones with true connection. You are focused, you're intentional. And then what are those four life-changing habits that you are committing to? Okay. That you're completely 110% committing to. Now, remember you money is a tool to help you achieve these things. This is the connection to creating that passive income, all right, growing that equity, creating those tax benefits to increase your velocity of money, right? We can cre increase that vo velocity of money to reinvest actual in actual investments or the velocity of money to invest in ourselves, right? Guys, if you haven't already, I enjoy, you know, invite you to join me at PassiveInvestingWhitney.com. There we can hop on a one-on-one -on -one call to discuss your investing goals and how passive investing can help connect you to those. And you get free access to our masterclasses and boot camps and access to our priority open deal 